Another day, another hack. This seems to be happening on a more and more regular basis. This time it's Solana. Wallets are getting hacked and drained left and right. About 8,000 wallets so far are here. No one is exactly sure how yet. So it is recommended you move everything over to a new wallet with no permissions or authorizations. As usual, Hex.com users are unaffected. The new name for Solana is Stolana. Let's have a look at what Hexologist has to say. Guys, if you're in Solana, this would frighten you. Over 5,000 wallets have already been drained and they don't even know how it's happening. The transactions are being signed by the actual owners, meaning it's probably a private key compromise. Solana is already down 8% in the last 45 minutes. If you have Solana, revoke all the permissions that you can right now, because you will lose all of your money if this continues to go on in, in their blockchain. I'm the Hexologist. Follow me for your daily crypto news. Find out why OGs are leaving Bitcoin. Right, here we go. This one's quite good. No, re Solana hack. Mobile wallets and browser extensions are being hacked. Now make damn sure you're using a Trezor or Leisure for your PC or Mac. Approximately 7,760 wallets have been affected. Right, what is Richard problem, saying on this? Prob problem, the problem with that, that hack exists because they used a new chain and that new chain isn't bug free yet. So that hack called a system function on this new chain called Solana. And that system <laughs> function was check signature verify. But then they discovered that the check signature verify didn't, didn't make sure where the signature came from so that you could hack it by getting it to check a signature from the wrong place. And that's what happened. And so someone, so the only people that were supposed to be able to mint the coins were the people that were running the bridge, the guardians they were called. But then this guy discovered that the software wasn't written properly and that he could just give a, a, a valid signature, but from people that weren't the guardians and then mint as many free coins as he wanted as his own. And so that, so you will run in, when you use untested new Solana software, you're right. going to lose millions and millions this of dollars finding out where the bugs are. Ethereum, when it first came out, lost millions and millions and millions of dollars to figure out where all the bugs were. I realize that. I don't want to beta test somebody else's software. I want to use a software that is the most tested, tried and true software that exists. And that's when I tell you 99.9% .9 of the code is identical. It's because we know that's the safest code that exists in the entire world. And how many people, like the Solana guys lost $250 million. Did the Ethereum guys lose any money? No, because the Ethereum guys didn't get hacked. Their stuff worked fine, right? So when, you, when you're dealing with uh, software, it's best to use the older, slower stuff with minimal changes to make it better because you have the least new attack surface that has to be analyzed and looked at. So, you know, it's, you know, the bridge that we're going to use is used by more people and has been used for longer and therefore just doesn't have the same, oh, look, a, a new bug. Like, you know, you don't want to lose $250 million to a new bug. That's why I prefer tried and true, stable, rock solid stuff. Probably rock solid, tried and tested stuff. Eight thousand wallets sacked. Right, here you go, Adam Stokes. Solana hacked again. How many times does this have to happen before we agree? Speed and scalability means nothing if you can't maintain security. That's right. Mind are the power of Bitcoin. What are the latest ones saying? Let's have a look. Right, there you go. Basically a quick Roundup, if you want to go to Twitter, you can see a bit more here about Solana's latest hack.